Hello, welcome to my channel. I am the Silver Wheel Witch. I am excited to do a book haul video today. I got three new books all based around a topic that I have just started diving into and I am excited to share these with you today. So the theme of all of these books is ornithomancy or also known as um, augury or bird divination. So I am diving deeper into that and looking for a, um, a bit more knowledge and a broader perspective of it. So the first book I'm going to start with today is called Bird Medicine. There we go. Sorry if it's a little uh, glary there. And it is called The Sacred Power of Bird Shamanism by Evan T. Pritchard. It's by Bear and Company um, Publishing. And I'll give you a close-up of the back of the book as well. Let's see if I can do it where it's not going to glare for you guys. And the author's information as well. So this book is um, a beautiful book that looks like it is very much a Native American themed bird shamanism, bird divination. Um, I'll give you the contents. And I have flipped through it and it looks like a great book. Um, it talks about the birds of the four directions specifically that I guess are part of Native American culture as well as um, how the birds are teachers and musicians and carriers of spirit and language and warnings and then the bird medicine and when they refer to the medicine of the bird they are referring to um, basically the messages and meanings and the correspondence and symbolism of the birds that the birds carry. And it looks like a fantastic book. I can't wait to read this one. It has gorgeous pages in the middle that are full color glossy pages. Very beautiful. Um, again, coming from the aspect of bird shamanism beautiful pages in here and one more because they're just so pretty oops there we go beautiful so great great looking book I can't wait to read this one the next book I got is called the healing wisdom of the birds and this one is by Leslie Morrison. It says, An Everyday Guide to Their Spiritual Songs and Symbolism. So I read the back here and also her tidbit about her in the front. And it says that her knowledge is on multicultural practices and how to integrate them into the human experience. Um, very interesting. Though I will say that she does mention in this book, I was flipping through it, it has, um, she refers to um, bird medicine, again, just like the um, Native American book. So I am interested to read this one. She says that, you know, it looks like she comes from a multicultural background. And let me show you the contents. It's very simple focus um, but while the back of the book let's see page 93 a good chunk of it is the bird medicine so it's got all the symbolism in there actually up through page two yeah pretty much half the book is um, bird symbolism which is great but the beginning sections the bird goddess cosmic egg bird shamans um, birds and magic and religion, 
Soul Alchemy, Flight of the Birds, Feathers. So there is a good bit of history and background information, not just bird correspondence in here. So I'm really excited to read that. Um, I'm curious to see really how much of this one has Native American influence versus truly multicultural. Um, excited to see that in especially the first sections of the book where she goes more in depth about the bird symbolism itself. So very exciting book. Um, I was very pleasantly surprised that these three books that I found were all very different. Um, this last book that I got is called The Hidden, Hidden Meaning of Birds, A Spiritual Field Guide. Explore the Symbology and Significance of These Divine Winged Messengers by Erin Murphy Hiscock. And she is the author of The Green Witch, which is a fantastic beginner book for anybody interested in green witchcraft or earth-based witchcraft and they're just starting out. Um, so I do like the way that she uh, presents information in her books. Um, very good for beginners, not always in depth, like a lot of detail on certain things, but enough for you to get started practicing, which is exactly what this book does, um, and enough information to make you want to learn more and find additional resources. So what I love, love, love about this book is this cover, she calls it a spiritual field guide and it is built and designed just like a field guide book. So this cover is absolutely amazing. I don't think that I can do it justice on the camera, but it's um, it's kind of flexible a little bit, but it's really thick and almost heavy feeling. Um, very sturdy, very nice spine. Um, and the pages are completely full color. The whole book is full color. Every single bird has a color picture of the bird in here. And these pages are so glossy that they're almost like, um, almost plasticky feeling. So if it got a drop of water on it or anything like that, if you were carrying it around with you while you're hiking in the woods, you're not gonna damage this book. Um, I love that about it. Um, it does give brief information in the front, the first 25 pages. It goes into an introduction, how to use the book, historical bird divination, modern bird divination, and working with birds spiritually. That is in the first 25 pages, and then it goes into the birds and has all their correspondences and such. So, you know, par for the course with her books, the, the information in the beginning is, is brief. It's not super deep in depth. This is like a beginner book. And I will say though that the correspondences for all the birds are really, really nice. And they look pretty much in depth. She's got the name, the species, um, popular common variant subspecies and other names, as well as geographical distribution, environment, physical description, interesting facts, myth, folklore, and cultural associations, as well as omens and divinatory meanings. And then at the end of each one, in addition to all of that, she gives you the associated energies, so some keywords. Um, and associated season, elemental associations, and color associations. So, for example, I'll show you guys the lark. Okay. And then the next two pages with the additional information about the lark. So, so far, based on all the books that I already have on hand that I'm going to be using um, to really learn more about bird divination. Um, I would say if somebody else wanted to, you know, kind of go on this journey with me and with the other videos that I'm going to be doing 
and you wanted to pick up one book, I think this is a great book for a first book um, if you're going to get one book because it gives you some basics and it gives you a lot of information on the birds and the birds, every single bird in here has a full color and it's really designed like a field guide. So definitely love that. These other books are great as well. These are going to give me the more depth and broader perspectives. So I can't wait to dive into those. Um, I am still on the lookout for uh, some books that are more um, Celtic or Druidic bird symbolism. If it's heavy on information on multiple types of birds or history and symbolism from Celtic or Druidic, um, as well as, you know, I believe that the ornithomancy and augury forms of bird divination originated, I want to say like Rome and Greece, and I haven't seen any specific books from there. So I'm curious to find some more information from that. There is lots of information um, from Native American, but I definitely want to get a broader perspective from all the different cultures. So if you guys know of any other books on this subject, please let me know. And there you have it. I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching.